Yes. <laughs> Welcome back. Hi, welcome back. My name is Sky. For those of you who are new, bruh, should I separate my rumble intro from my normal intro? I'm still working on the intro. The intro is still introing, but what's up, guys? Don't forget to like, comment, and make sure to hit that bell, the notification bell. You, you know what I'm talking about. I really don't know what I'm talking about. It's like a notification bell to where you have to click it like twice to get the, the notification and then to also be notified when I post. But that's only if you want that, bro. I'm not trying to annoy you. Because I'm trying to post twice a week. Yeah! Okay, so I just came back from the store. Bruh. You know what I will not tolerate? A $2.50 avocado. For why? Now, what did I get exactly? Quit playing with me. On the thing, it said, um, two something. And I was kind of iffy about that. I was willing to pay it because I was willing to try this. I'm, like, really interested to see what this tastes like. At the scanner thing, it was, like, 150 So I was like, all right, all right, all right. Bet. Because online, that's what I do. I check online before I buy it in real life. It was, like, $1.99. Basically $2, which is why I was impressed for it being two fifty. But, like, come on now. Relax. Relax. We're in a recession. Quit charging me these ratchet prices. I'm not the one. Half the bag. Empty. 50 cents just for air. Packaged air. <laughs> Hold on now. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Now, I went to the bougiest store possible because the store is Sprouts. You know the store? The grocery store Sprouts? I think it's technically a farmer's market, but it's where all the non-dairy products are. Did I get any non-dairy products? No. But I am doing the research to switch my dairy habits into not being such a dairy fiend all the time. While scrolling, I did come across these kettle chips. Dill pickle kettle chips. And I needed to see what it would be. It's giving honestly exactly what you would think it would give. I thought the chips would be more crinkled, but they're the same textured as kettle that store genuinely has all the bougie people which I kind of like because there wasn't that many people in there which means I could get away with taking my Instagram photos and <laughs> I'm debating whether or not I should go get a dollar fry a dollar large fry from the hookup on the app for McDonald's or should I just go home and stop spending money could we make this a mukbang is it not already said mukbang Bro, I'm really thinking about it. Like, do I want to make the effort to go across the street? I'm already out to get the dollar for ideal, which is truly going to make me want a large sweet tea. But because McDonald's isn't doing their dollar drinks anymore, I feel away. I feel very much away. I'm not going to lie. It took... Sorry. <laughs> that couple was on a literal spider. I'd show you, but I don't want to give away my location. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what will determine my answer? Is this my mom's home already or not? And it's been a rain, I think. That's what the weather app told me. But now I'm gonna check if my mom is home. Bro, is she? She isn't home, but she's closer to me. But did I truly need an excuse to desire McDonald's fries? Now, true enough, I'm on this health journey, really just taking my health completely seriously this time. I mean, not for no New Year's resolution or anything. Also, also, bro, can I choose one thought? Let me choose one thought. Okay, now she's calling me. I got a gift card for Whataburger. Uh, I was trying to see if you were trying to or something. See, that's what I'm talking about. I have no self-respect. <laughs> Like, she literally told me, like, I don't have to answer her phone when I'm filming, bro. It's like, because I don't have a 9 to 5, <laughs> I don't take my stuff as seriously as I should. And that's what's holding me back. But I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to be bold enough to where I can take this as seriously as if this was my paid 9 to 5. If I was getting paid, maybe I'd feel a little bit more confident. I'm attempting and it's working, but I have to keep doing it. I'm still at starter level like not not zero But not making money yet eventually eventually it is coming Okay manifesting but right now it's just putting in my thousand hours. What was I saying before? So basically, yeah, I'm on this health journey. Um, it's not like a, oh, I'm getting fit for the new year. 
happy new year, new year's resolution type beat. I genuinely started it like, I don't know, on the end of November. I was just like, hmm, let me take my health seriously. And there was no particular thing about it. I think I just desired more in life. I was one of those people who was giving the excuse as to why I wasn't working out regularly because I desired to be a person who works out regularly, to be drinking a certain amount of water, to be, you know, genuinely healthy. Taking my health seriously, like genuinely looking after myself because no one else will, to be honest. If I don't care about my health, who is? But honestly, bro, I might as well fall into the crowd of the people who want to do the New Year's resolution, New Year, New Me type beat. Because it, it kind of is. But I'm more um committed to the lifestyle change of actually putting in the work. No excuses. Which is so much easier said than done. Putting in the grind, putting in the effort to work, to want to do the things and go for the things that you want, that junk isn't easy. In fact, it's way easier to come up with random excuses as to why you can't do this, why you're not doing that, why you aren't attaining this goal, why you aren't even striving. It's one thing to just flat out fail, which I haven't done yet because I can't. I mean, I can fail, but like, it's no like time limit as to like when my channel blows up or when I get successful or when I start making money. It's a literally only a timeline of a span of whether or not I keep going with this, whether or not I keep growing my channel, keep putting in effort. The whole switch to putting out two videos a week instead of just one on top of the other social media stuff that I still try to do. It's a work in progress. Like, please know that none of this is perfect. I just planned out like a rough draft of what I plan to do. And the schedule is tight. Okay, I, I'm doing something almost every day. I am doing something every day. Except for the weekend. Because, relax yourself. These folks about to make me move out this parking lot. I'm genuinely testing out this schedule to see if it works or not for me. Pushing two videos, it's not that it's impossible to do two videos a week, but the fact that I'm doing every other thing with it, like it's not just two videos a week, it's two times that I have to find throughout the week to film. It's two times that I have to find throughout or split it in multiple sections across a week to edit. And the reality is that I'm doing three videos a week because I'm posting one on Rumble, which I dedicate it to. Ooh, yes. Yeah, not only is it a work in progress, but it's trifling. Trying to achieve your goals, trying to, you know, step up to the plate is one thing. But literally having things go wrong, literally being challenged, any obstacle when I already have the mindset that this John is going to be difficult makes it even harder. However, comma, I'm not mad. I'm not afraid, bro. Like, I truly went to the store, looked like this. Now, granted, I would do that anyways, and more or less had nothing to do with what this was and more about the Instagram photo. I didn't even truly have like a video idea planned to this point because I spent so much time planning what time to set aside to film that when it got to actually filming, Bro, I'm never out of content. I genuinely don't even know what this video is gonna be. And it's probably all over the place, just like I am. This was just gonna be a general um, video coming back after Vlogmas. Vlogmas, y'all? That honestly gave me the most motivation because I saw the most growth during Vlogmas. I was committed to doing a video once a week and that got me places. Very, very slow growth that way. I'm also trying to turn around and put out shorts. I can't pull the stops to do original content. It's a feedback from TikTok. Don't, don't worry. But I posted a short yesterday and John got over 200 views which somehow translated into three more subscribers. I'm like okay, I'll get rid of Yes! <laughs> but yeah, Vlogmas, Vlogmas was a trip. I truly enjoyed it. It showed me how much it takes actually to do it daily. Now, can I do it daily? Absolutely. But will I need a team and people to help me edit and join? Yes! Yes, bro. I don't think you understand the concept of the amount of time it takes to complete all this. And I'm not one to complain. I love being in this mix. Love the growth. Really inspired to just keep going. Seeing where this John takes me. Having this channel be a genuine dream. Having my childhood dream turn into my adulthood reality is one of the best feelings, actually. And I hope I can grow 
and go as far as possible with this whole thing. I'm geeked. That being said, I'm not sure if this goes up before New Year's or after. Either way, welcome to 2023, my G. We made it! But I'm still here, man. I've still been working. I've still been putting in, in the gym, working out. Now, I'm not perfect. I'm not even gonna cap like I ever was. But life is going, man. And I genuinely want to show that if you want this too, simply go for it. Attempt to do so. The video is increasingly too long and I'm ready to go home to eat. The sun's going down and everything, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in again. Don't forget to check out my Vlogmas series, all of 22. There's a whole playlist for it. Go check that out. Uh, make sure to subscribe and hit that uh, post notification bell. And with that being said, I love you guys so much. <gasps> Bye.